Welcome back to a brand new video here on Ice Moto. Today we are going to do the first official test ride on my brand new Husqvarna TE125. Okay, so in my last build video I asked you guys if I should put on 50-50 or not on the Supermoto. And most of you guys wanted me to put on the 50-50, so that's what I did. Usually I don't like 50-50 on Supermotos, but on this bike I think it turned out pretty good. The only thing that's not good about the 50-50 on this Supermoto is that when I cut the 50-50 off the wheel, I was super scared of cutting in the tire, so it got all messy and uh, really bad. But I'm gonna fix that up later. So today we're outside on the close roads of Thailand as usual and we're going to do the first test ride on my brand new Husqvarna TA125. So, let's begin. Okay, so I've only ridden this bike about one hour in total. So now I'm going to show you what I've learned during this hour. What I have really learned, should I say. So, let's begin with a sound check. <laughs> So now, let's begin! Okay, so I'm going to begin with doing wheelies on the lower RPMs and then later we're gonna go to the higher RPMs. So let's begin with a second gear wheelie. Oh yes! Coaster! Coaster! Okay, so it's going to take a while before I get used to all this power. My moped had around 1 to 2 horsepower and this bike has around 32 horsepower. So it's a lot more power in this bike. So it's going to take a very long time until I get used to this bike. Damn. <laughs> okay, never mind, we're on the power band already. I just couldn't hold myself. Helvete! <laughs> oh, okay, we're already going strong. So if I have to compare the Derby to the 125, I would say that the power band on the Derby was like on the lower RPMs on this bike. So yeah, it's kind of insane. Okay, let's try to do an acceleration. That was close. Okay, so if you're wondering why there's cones right here, that's because my father has a driver's license for uh, the motorcycle. So if the police show up right here, we can just say that we're practicing driving. So that is very clever of us. So that means that I can stunt right here on the close house of Thailand, and if the police show up, we're just practicing. Okay, so a lot of you might wonder when I will get my driver's license. At the moment I have Uppsjöning Stead in the middle of May, but I will probably find an earlier time so I can get my driver's license earlier. But until then, I'm just gonna have to drive over here, and it's gonna have to do. <coughs> Okay, so comment down below what exhaust you think I should get for this 125. At the moment, I have the DEP exhaust system. Uh, I think it sounds okay. It's not a very crispy sound, but it still sounds pretty good. Because, well, it's a two-stroke 125, so it sounds really good. So comment down below what exhaust system I should get for the 125 next. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Man, you know, I want to do, you know, the bike lifestyle when you go But my wrists are dead already. I'm not used to riding. So it's gonna have to take a while before I can do that. But soon, I promise. I'm not used to riding at all, but man, it's so fun to finally be on a 125cc. I've waited so long for this to happen. You know, I started this YouTube channel on a 50cc stock uh, derby. The reason why I started recording from the beginning was just because I wanted to watch myself uh, do wheelies and stuff. You know, I, I couldn't even do wheelies when I started the YouTube channel. And uh, now I'm sitting on my very own Husqvarna TA125 and uh, making videos that, well, most of you guys enjoy. So yeah, that is a very big dream of mine. So I'm very grateful for all your support. Uh, without you guys, I would never have been able to buy this one. 25 so from so from the bottom of my heart thank you guys for making my dream come possible <laughs> Also, I just want to let you guys know that uh, if you play the game MX Bikes, you can download uh, the same skin as my bowl decals. So if you play the game, you can download my decals if you join my Discord server. Uh, I will link it down below. So yeah. And also, a really big shout out to miamoto.com for making this awesome plate holder bracket that you can put in your wheelhouse. So yes. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And hopefully I can record a new video as soon as possible. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye.